In this session, we are going to learn about fractions. So first, let me quickly take you through the topics that we are going to be discussing in this chapter on fractions. First, we will understand what is a fraction? What is the basic idea behind coming up with the concept of a fraction? And then we also understand how do we represent a fraction mathematically? Next, we will take some examples of fractions and see how we can come up with fractions. How do we create them? Then, we will take up the topic of representing fractions on a number line. So, in the earlier chapters, we have learned on how to represent numbers on a number line. So, we learned how to represent natural numbers, whole numbers and negative numbers on the number lines. In this case, we will see where do these fractions come on the number line. Then we continue our study of fractions by looking into the different types of fractions that are possible. So we will be covering the meaning and examples of proper fractions. Then we learn about improper and mixed fractions. And then how do we represent improper and mixed fractions? And then we introduce the concept of equivalent fractions. And then we'll also discuss about cross products when we take the equivalent fractions into account. Then I will introduce the concept of a simplest form of a fraction. So we'll understand that a same fraction can be repre represented in different ways. And it may not be the simplest form of that fraction. So first we understand what do we mean by simple form of a fraction and for a given fraction, how do we know whether th there is this form is simple or not? Then we move into more details on discussing the uh, fractions. So we will be discussing the like and unlike fractions. And then we compare like fraction. That is, if you have given more two or more than two like fractions, how do you know which one is bigger and which one is smaller? Then comparing unlike fractions, how do you compare unlike fractions? And in that we can have two cases. We have same numerators and we could have different numerators. So in that case, how do we compare? That is what we'll be having a look at. Then we move on to understand the basics of addition and subtraction of fractions. So we'll understand how to add and subtract like fractions, unlike fractions and the mixed fractions. So this is all that we'll be covering in our chapter. And then finally towards the end, we, I will provide you the concept summary of all the above concepts that we would have discussed in this entire chapter. So see you in the next session.